Lucas Black knows how to make an exit, and so does NCIS New Orleans. Heads up, major spoilers ahead. During the sixth episode of season six, called Matthew 5-9, Black's character, special agent Christopher LaSalle, died after sustaining gunshot wounds to his arm and stomach while on a mission to avenge the death of his brother. It's not easy to say goodbye to a key character after six seasons, but it's comforting to know that Black reportedly didn't depart from NCIS New Orleans on a whim or because of any behind-the-scenes drama no one knew about. Instead, Black exited the procedural for a very important reason — to spend more time with family. In a video uploaded to NCIS New Orleans' YouTube channel, Black, who is married with three children, explained his decision to part ways with the CBS series. He admitted that while the show has been, quote, so good to him over the years, the schedule wasn't always easy. There's a lot of priorities in my life that get sacrificed for me to be here, but it's time for me to focus on those priorities. It may be tough for fans to accept a beloved star has other priorities, but nothing but love and support has surrounded Black's dramatic exit from the show. According to TV Insider, the NCIS New Orleans showrunner said in a statement, "...we had an amazing run with Lucas Black, and he has been such an important part of our NCIS New Orleans team. We are sad to see him go, but happy he will have more time to spend with his family." High-profile stars might sometimes use family as a fake excuse to exit an unwanted situation, but Black's co-workers seem convinced that his reasons are genuine. CCH Pounder, who plays medical examiner Loretta Wade, said in a video released by the show that Black wasn't all that concerned with the idea of being a Hollywood star. The most important thing is to be a family man, and I think he's chosen that over all the other choices. Black, who according to CBS earned his first film role when he was 11, has mainly worked on NCIS over the last six years. Newsweek previously speculated that Black might be leaving the show to free up time for other on-screen ventures, like future installments of the Fast and the Furious franchise, in which he plays Tokyo-based American street racer Sean Boswell. Black last appeared in 2015's Furious 7 and was also in 2006's The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Rumors of his casting in Fast and the Furious 9 have swirled for several years, but Black was also expected to appear in the eighth movie in the franchise and didn't. While it's not clear yet whether Black will appear in Fast and Furious 9, it's also unknown whether any movie casting would have taken him away from NCIS New Orleans. As for what's next for the actor, Black didn't offer any hints about future movie roles in his own video posted to Twitter after the death of LaSalle. Instead, he chose to focus on expressing gratitude for fans for all their love and support. You were there to celebrate the victories and to pick me up when I needed it, and I appreciate that. The actor also indicated he would miss playing LaSalle and remains incredibly thankful for the time he spent on NCIS New Orleans. He went on to say that he, quote, "...learned a lot about what the first responders do, and that he supports and respects the military." The chapter has ended. What a great journey it was. Thank you guys so much. May God bless you. So far, much of NCIS New Orleans Season 6 has been about LaSalle's search for his missing brother, whom he then discovers is dead, and his team's attempts to help him in his quest. It's not clear where that plot will go after LaSalle's death, and a preview of the next episode of the show, excitingly titled Boom 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 Boom, only teases a new storyline involving bombs in the city. However, NCIS New Orleans star Nikar Zadigan, who plays special agent Hannah Corey, promised that LaSalle's character would have a major effect on the show. LaSalle's character was such a big, important character to the show. It does have a big impact on the team in terms of not just the relationships, but personal stories. Star Scott Bakula, who portrays supervisory special agent Dwayne King Pride, also revealed that LaSalle's death means change for NCIS New Orleans. We're off on a, a big, dramatic change in our, in our world here for season six. While the NCIS franchise is still going strong, ratings for NCIS New Orleans have sadly been declining, according to TV by the Numbers. Though it's likely upsetting for fans of the actor, LaSalle's exit just might give the show a shot in the arm for fresh plot lines for the rest of the season and beyond. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.